Hello guys, and welcome back to part two of Let's Play Sim Cities. Sim City, Sim City, part number two. <laughs> I guess I wanted to say like Sim City societies. I'm a little, I'm a little used to that. So I haven't even posted the first part, and I was itching um, to play this again. I actually am really excited to play this with you guys and have a little have a little variety on my channel and um, fun. I'm also going to be doing Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, when it comes out in December. So I'll be adding those onto my channel as well. I know I have like a lot of Let's Plays going, but it is because I do post two videos a day. And again, with that, that is such a high amount of content that it's really necessary for me to have a lot of different types of videos. Do you get what I'm saying? So I don't know. Just letting you know that Sims are my main priority, my main focus. But I do like to add a little variety, and I'm sure you guys would like to see some other games too sometimes. So if not, the Sims videos are there every day. <laughs> so yesterday we had a task. And it was to build um, a enough space, or zoning enough space, I'm sorry, zoning enough space for 10, was it? 10 or 8? 10. I think it was 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Okay, yeah, so it was 10 industrial buildings. We had to have enough zoning for it. So we're only like a couple off. And uh, so with that, I'm going to go and just kind of maybe zone over here too. I'm not exactly sure. We have a little bit of housing over here for people to come and uh, help with, um, you know, the industrial part of it. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to kind of make a street like here and then I'm going to do uh, maybe, I'm trying to think here how I want this to work because I'm not exactly sure quite yet. I don't want that to get in the way of. Our building so maybe if I just do like here a little bit and then go straight down that way it's too close oh my gosh seriously don't do this to me man <sighs> okay let me figure this out then uh, I could do it just straight across here and then we could probably go like right here and then I'm gonna delete just this little bit okay so we have some abandoned buildings and obviously that is due to high Taxes. Okay, so now that we are in the positive, about four hundred and some odd dollars. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring down the taxes a little bit to basically the lowest I can. So taxes right now are at eleven percent, which I mean, it's kind of did they die? But did you die? No, you just left. I I don't know. It says like this or had like the thing thingy majigger like they died. I think they may have died. I do. I think we may have killed. The residents and do we have more abandoned buildings are you freaking kidding me right now okay so this person's very upset and the taxes are too high well I don't know what the hell they want the taxes to be at but I think 11% taxes considering here in Washington we pay freaking double like we pay we pay no we don't pay double I'm sorry we pay like 11 no 10 10 like 9.5% so I'm assuming if these people are in a tizzy they need to come to Seattle because then I'll tell you what it really is I'll tell you what's really good okay like you don't even know how high taxes are until you get into my own neck of the woods okay let me just let you know this all right I don't want to get the industrial too freaking close but we do have to build four more buildings so I have an idea in mind I'm gonna zone I'm going to zone over here too and see if maybe anything gets put in place. I definitely want to check out the maps too to make sure we're not going into water territory, which is good. Okay, so that means we got to keep the industrial over on this side. We are just starting to trickle into it. Um, and we don't want that. We don't want to like put any pollutants into the water stream. So I'm going to go and do some um, industrial this way too kind of like the way that it's a little angled and stuff and it's not it's not looking all the same it's you know what i mean i think this looks nice so let's go and zone here this should be enough for a building i think and let me hope and pray that this actually ends up building something here okay so we have that and then over here i was kind of hoping i would put like some trees like i said i just really want to uh, break up the, um, break up the industrial from the residential. I'm trying to make it as nice as possible, but it is really hard. So I'm thinking I'm going to put in some trees here and here and then right there and then kind of like make, okay, that looks a little bit better. So, and then I'll make this like residential as well, uh, right in here. Let me see if I have enough 
space to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna add like a little park or something. Like I said, I'm just going to try to make it as nice as possible. Uh, I'm gonna do a little nature or I could do like a basic park, like a barbecue pit. Or we could do, I wish that would fit actually. I really do wish that would fit. What is this, a water playground? That is so cute. Uh, I love it. Okay, now we'll just do, hopefully there's no kids there. Let's do some sports maybe. I, know, I can't fit any of these damn sports things in there like at all. Um, okay, nature. How about some nature stuff? We'll do nature stuff. I think we could fit this like right in here. And then that would look pretty nice. I'm not exactly sure how this looks. Maybe if I could put in like a few more trees, it would look a little bit nicer. So then it doesn't have just, do you get what I'm saying? I don't know if this would actually work, but I'll put some trees along the lines here. And I'm gonna delete, can I delete that tree? I don't know if I can delete it, but it kind of looks cute. I like that. Um, I like this little area. I think it looks nice. Okay, so it doesn't look too, um, it doesn't look too ghetto, I guess. It doesn't look that bad. Okay, so what's wrong here? We have um, somebody who's upset. There aren't enough blue collar workers right now. Well, what the hell, dude? Oh, so we need more upscale people. I really want to make like over here the ritziest freaking area that you ever did see so apparently they want more blue collar blue collar um workers or whatever and i'm thinking i'm gonna do like a really upscale nice freaking neighborhood in here this is going like i said to be the city center eventually these are all going to be apartments and um the real epicenter of the city at least that's what I'm hoping. So what we need to also work on is whatever this says we need. We need a lot of um, just kind of traditional residential. And that is really what all this is going to be back here is just some basic residential um, roads and stuff. It's not going to be obviously the most wealthiest area of areas, but it is going to look, you know, what like what it is. It's just it's just kind of more of a, a lower end area. Um, I'll put some houses right there and then like I said over here will be kind of more of a ritzier area I want all of this for the water stuff like right in here So I'm just trying to map it out because with Sim City societies We didn't really map it out, but this is such a beautiful area and then over here Specifically, we're gonna have a lot of touristy stuff and um, a lot of like kind of nicer beachfront property So nicer area over here nicer area over there if you get what I'm saying probably not so I really do want to get some education kind of going um, our population wealth is pretty low we have a lot of low wealth um citizens which is totally fine so I'm, I'm thinking maybe what's really important right now is well i first want to um where the hell did my mouse go are you freaking serious right now you guys i lost my mouse like i'm not even kidding <gasps> oh my god what the hell this is a joke right okay hold on ah, i'm trying to like navigate it's like, oh my God, what? Okay, I lost my mouse there for a second and I thought I was gonna have a poop fit, like seriously. All right, so that was not enough for anybody to build residential. So I'm gonna pause, pause it, or not residential, but industrial. That was just not enough space at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove that and we are just gonna have to make it a little bit bigger and maybe more even how about that so actually that one looks pretty good we'll delete this and we're gonna make this a straight road I'm gonna try to make this as even as possible this should definitely give us more than enough room for that industrial that they are looking for but we need more um blue collar residents as as they're complaining about I guess so what I'm gonna do is kind of do okay not enough medium wealth shoppers oh tropics okay well i'm working on it sons okay i'm working on it i am working on it stopping so freaking hard on me okay so let's get it together jennifer because we need to get it together okay i'm gonna bring the road from right in here and i think i'm gonna do maybe like a little curved road or something arc arc road uh let's just do it to like right there and we're gonna bring it in here. Well, I kind of want it to look nicer than that. That looks kind of silly. Um, I want it to be curved. So like, oh, my eyeball is itching. I kind of like that. So if, as we get into that, that's gonna take up so much space though. Okay, right, right here should be good. Okay, I like that. So now that we're there, we're gonna basically 
create a nice little community. No, 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 no. A nice little community in here that is going to be pretty wealthy. And we're just going to do it like right in here. So here we are. We're going to get to like the gates. Speaking hypothetically, of course. And um, we're going to do like a circle. Let's do like a circle here. Okay, I like that. And those are going to be houses and stuff. And then we're going to do like little, it's going to be like um, little, oh, no, 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 that's not what I was trying to do. We're going to do like little things off the end here. And these are getting, going to be like houses. Do you get what I'm saying? Like little neighborhood patches or whatever. And this is going to be high wealth um, places. And then I think I'm going to attach this to like there. Or no, should I do like a street that goes from here? No, that looks stupid. I should probably attach one of these streets, but I don't really want to attach one of the streets. Do you get what I'm saying? Like maybe attach it from here to there, but I don't know. We'll see how traffic gets, and then we'll kind of worry about it then. Okay, so let's unpress pause and do exactly what we are planning on doing. I'm going to put in the houses here. The street lights are actually turning on. That is so cute. And, um... I'm going to put it a little bit there and there. So, hey, are you dragging your butt in the carpet, Yazzie? Better not. Okay, let's get some formal freaking thingy-majiggers in here. The most nice freaking uh, plazas you could probably think of. I actually do want to do a formal... Um, I mean, this just looks a little too ritzy-ritzy for me personally, but I think that actually looks kind of nice. So... I mean, kind of, like, really, though, kind of. Hopefully people will, yeah, like, I'm trying to bring up the land value a little bit. Hopefully people will come in and, you know, I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how everything gets built up. But we're going to kind of speed on through and see how this place comes along a little. And um, right now, this person actually is reconstructing. It's going to be a very nice little building. Okay, so what is the issue here? What is the issue? It says more jobs. Okay, so we need more commercial or, okay, well, we actually have enough now. We have, we made our goal and, um, okay, we, there are not enough blue collar workers. I never thought we'd struggle to find good management. Okay, well, that is what I am working on right now, son. I am trying to get you those blue collar workers that you're speaking of, but times are hard, okay? Like, you don't, you don't know me like this. You really don't. Um, let me see if I can do, like, another circular little culvis sack in here. I don't want to, like, get into the, the water tanks too much because they're, like, eyesores. But um, I want to put one of the, let's see, what else kind of brings up the wealth of the area? The plazas bring up the wealth. I want, like, a little shopping district for the more wealthier people, I guess. And I'm going to put it, like, right in there, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm hoping. I'm hoping. So look, we already got our first big freaking, uh, our big first mansion, which is really cool. So now mansions are starting to arise, which is exactly what we wanted, or at least what I wanted anyways. And I'm going to build some of the nicer area um, shopping district in here. So I'm going to just kind of try to like sandwich this plaza I don't know if it's gonna work nicely but there we go we got that plaza kind of sandwiched and I'm gonna put in um, let me see I'm gonna put in I don't know I don't know if this would fit a couple nicer uh, stores or not so I'm gonna kind of just continue to go through here like this and I'm gonna cut it right there okay so this should be able to produce um, a nice shop or a couple nice shops, I guess. It's getting really, really close to the crappier area of town, and that is not what I want. So I'm trying to figure it out. Like right now, I don't want to get any closer to that because, as you can see, like having a mansion and then you're like right next to the stacks, it doesn't look that nice or that pleasing. But seriously, look at. Look at that. That is so freaking nice. That is so nice. So, so, so nice. So right now we have a demand for just kind of lower 
um, residential neighborhoods. And um, we're going to continue to kind of work on that. Land value is so high, you guys. Like, I kind of don't understand how land value over here is really high. But on the plus side, we are getting about $700 an hour which is a huge, huge accomplishment, might I add, because I feel like not that long ago we we um, were kind of struggling a little bit. So I'm just going to put in more of these. I kind of want to start working on and getting some education and schools, but right now I'm just trying to do the grand balance of things. You know what I mean? Just trying to at least get some residents in and stuff like that. So I'm going to kind of go speed a little more faster here. And uh, you can see like the houses are really, well, this house is freaking lovely and the density is in improving so hopefully like these people will you know eventually move out or whatever it says the town is tiny i hope it grows soon it is pretty small it is it is it is so small so i'm figuring out how to make life work so now we have 14 some odd dollars we need more jobs okay well what we can do to create jobs as well is adding in different types of things like we're gonna need a police force we're gonna need um you know, a, a fire station. We're going to need, what else are we going to need? Um, schools and education and stuff. But we don't have the money right now. And I could take out another loan. I truly could. Uh, but we still owe about $25,000 on this loan. So I'm not exactly sure um, how that's going to work. So right now I'm just going to try to make some money um, and see. Let's just check up on our utilities and see how everything's going. We have a lot of excess everything. Yeah, excess absolutely freaking everything right now. Um, and are just letting our city kind of exist for a minute, at least at the moment. And, um, now we have $12,000, which is really, really nice. I was hoping that we'd be able to like, you know what I mean? Sell some of this, but I don't think it's going to happen. I know you need, you need, what does it say? We need, a. Um, it's getting tough to find good managers around here. Oh my gosh. I wonder how many jobs available we have versus how many, oh my gosh, this got stuck again. I think these things are like not working. I don't know why, but at least I know how to exit out of it because I would have a heart attack if I did not. Oh, all right. Um, this, nobody built anything here. So maybe it's not big enough, I'm assuming, to produce. It's probably not big enough. Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do is just kind of expand it then. Let me just pause so nobody builds anything. I'm going to expand it a little bit past this house, if that's okay, and see if maybe this encourages somebody to build something because there there should be enough room now, I think. Anyways, let's just go and zoom, zoom, and see if anything gets built. Okay, cool. So now we got a new tres chic business in Sorde Sands. So that means uh, it's a clothing store and it is worth the most money you could possibly imagine. This is going to be perfect because this will allow for more jobs and obviously more attractions in the city for people to come in. This is actually a really good spot for me to go ahead and add in um, add in a road or like a crossroad to take it from here to there. I'm going to add in some more trees, I think, just to kind of separate the nicer area from the not so nicer area. That's okay. Let's just go and put a couple in here. Like I said, we're just going to kind of separate it. Okay, that's actually a really nice area. Like, really, really nice. I love it so much. Okay, I want to see what else do we got going on here. Uh, like I said, I just kind of want to, like, differentiate this from that. And I'm probably going to build... Okay, they need more. So, so the community wealth is actually now half and half. It's low and high which is a little more balanced and kind of what we're looking for. I think we have, I don't know, the the building <laughs> tres cheeks or tres checks or whatever the hell it's called uh, is actually um, now finished and it looks amazing. Looks really, really, really nice. So what does it look like we need? Worker shortage. We need more homes, more homes. So now I think what I'm going to do is also add in some more homes down in here. Uh, we're going to do a street from there, I think. And it's going to take us down here. And we're going to add in um, a neighborhood or a couple of them. And I'm just going to go and add in like a grid over there. I don't really like doing the grids, but for now, it'll be fine. And I can just do like a split down the middle. And we're going to add in a whole bunch of homes. 
there and then add in a whole bunch there. And of course you can like, you know, fix your city and edit it as much as you want as things kind of go on. There are some attractions. Where are the attractions at? I forgot. City specialization. So we have drilling, we have culture, and we have gambling, which if you know Jen, gambling is kind of my thing. We obviously have the trading depot. I never was able to figure that out, but we don't really have enough like people here to really even worry about having any sort of attraction quite yet. But I do uh, hope to eventually have some sort of specialization soon. I think our little city is coming along. I would like to encourage density a little bit more. Um, but I think we still have a long ways to go. So this is like a, what does this say? This is called Yeti's Scoops. This is cheap food. George is cheap and, oh, I thought I said cheap and nasty. <laughs> this is cheap and tasty. And then here is El Titanic. Oh my God, looks El Bomb. I wonder if there's bars and stuff. What's it say? The sim of a life is not easy one, but we can get along, right? Oh, mentirosa. Vi ven vende vidi vente. Is this a coffee shop? Oh, freaking hell yes. It is. It is a coffee shop. And it looks so cute. And this is open. I love it. I really do. I love it. And this is like a little <gasps> shopping mall, the wireless. Oh my God. I love it. This is 6 a.m. Where is it going? Following, moving into a new home. Came from the region. Okay, let's go see where they're going. Wow, he is hauling it. I'm pretty sure he's breaking the speed limit right now. I'm just saying. Okay, so he's going to a new home. And we're going to get to see the workers. Aw, so they moved into this house right here. Cute. It's the Rodriguez residence. Ay, 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 Rodriguez. <laughs> they are so cute. Oh my gosh, dude. You better claim the insurance on that one. He was totally on your, your shiz. Okay. So we have a re uh, population of 441. We need some more commercial demand. <laughs> Damn, people are so demanding. Uh, I wonder if there's any, like, any... How is everything doing well? Business is okay. Um, business is... Eh. Business is good. Probably need a little more residential in this area, but I hate having people move in here. So what I'm going to do is, because I doubt we're going to have... We're going to do some residential here, too. It's not going to be the nicest residential because of the fact that, um, I mean, it is beachside. So that is pretty nice, it being like beachside. But I really want probably like some higher end buildings. So like bigger buildings here on the water and then bigger buildings here and then more rules. Not rule, but like more neighborhood stuff. I don't know. I'm just kind of, I don't know what I have in mind, but I'm kind of just going with it right now. So I'm going to add in a couple more homes. Not enough high... What's it say? Not enough high wealth shoppers. Okay, so the commercial demand is pretty serious right now. So I'm probably gonna add in a little, um, a little shopping right here in like this probably area. So I'll do that. I'll add in like some shopping, high commercial demand. I know, I know, I know. We've actually built quite a bit in the two parts that we've done. I feel like we have anyways, um, which is good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's just add in some more shops and stuff wherever we can add them. I think I'm going to add them right in here too. And then add like a park or something again to keep encouraging growth. Cause that's like the best thing to do is just to keep encouraging some damn growth because I feel like, I don't know. I feel like we are kind of, we're kind of slowing it up a little bit, but let's just do some, we have $7,000. Gosh, I wish we would get more money. Okay, so I'm thinking of doing a plaza over here too, but how much is this an hour? 120 an hour, ugh, $40 an hour. This is a fountain plaza. I don't really know of a nice place that I could actually put this with it looking, without looking too bad or whatever. Um, I don't mind it being right here, but this is like, I mean, this is actually what it's for, right? Okay then. So maybe if I have something a little bit longer to fill up that area. It would look nicer. Like, if that was a straight, straight shot, it would look really nice. Um, but it's not. It's not a straight shot at all. So, let's try a few other ones. Okay. Well, actually, I like this one right here. Oh, this is the flower one. We have a lot of that, huh? Okay. Let's just do... Oh, I'm getting frustrated. I don't know which one to do. What about this plaza? Are there any good ones here? Any ones that actually look nice? Do, do, do. All right. Screw it. We're going to go with this one for now. 
And this is going to encourage everybody also to go ahead and start building some nicer stuff. Like here's a nicer house now. And here is um, a nicer, like also nicer neighborhoods and stuff that are coming on through. Whew. Okay. We actually have 17. Oh, now we have 15. Ooh. Okay. Hopefully with all these getting built, let's just wait a second and see what's going on. We have the petition to build a gambling house. I would love to do gambling on the beach. Yep. You know me. You know me. I don't know. You guys got to let me know if you think we should do some gambling. Okay. Our current, our, what does it say? Not enough high-end wealth shoppers. Blah. Okay. Uh, we need more commercial, apparently. They're getting very demanding. Very demanding. Okay. So I'm just going to add in some more stuff there uh, with the shopping, with the shopping center. And I think I'm going to add um, a few different trees here. Let's just add in some nature. Um, or I could do, I don't know if any of this would fit. Actually, it's really cute. All right, I'm gonna put that in right there. It looks kind of strange, but we're gonna put it there. I don't care. We're gonna put it there. And so we need more high wealth. This is our wealthier area. So I'm assuming if maybe I added in a couple things, it would really help out. So if we have some knowledge, we don't have, what, what's the library? Public library it raises medium wealth. It increases industrial nearby buildings. Uh, public library, we really do need to get a school. We really, really do need a school. I could take out one more bond, but I don't think I want to do that. Because financially, we're doing okay. We're not doing too bad. And there's no demand for schools yet, right? No schools. Okay, yes, it definitely, it definitely does. It definitely does actually help. Oh, I don't want to do this right now. Okay, so I'm going to put in a couple more higher end houses, like down on this street. Hopefully, this will get more people to move in I don't know there's some more houses there I don't know how many water tanks we're gonna need to be able to keep this city sustained but we have a lot of water so I'm not really worried about it too too much but I am worried a little bit just a tiny itsy wincy bit I don't want to like cut too far into the water towers okay I don't know if I'm gonna all right, well, that looks kind of crappy, but we're going to go for it. And um, I'm going to, okay, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just going to fill this up and hope that big freaking mansions and stuff like that start forming. I don't know if they will, but I'm hoping for it. I'm going to actually add in um, a sports park or something like that. I think I'm going to do volleyball because I feel like volleyball would be more or less like what, why can't it just go sideways? Like, I don't like it like that. I think it looks stupid like this. Okay. Um, I could do it just like right in here, sort of, or right there. Ugh, I don't know how to put it or where should I put it? I guess I could do the volleyball court right there. I guess that's fine. So now we have a few more people moving in and I feel like our residential is doing a little bit better. Uh, what is it saying? Not, a, not enough. Oh my gosh. It's seriously being a pain in the butt. So the papers say unemployment has reached record lows. Nice. Okay. Cause yeah, we just built a whole bunch of new freaking houses. Hold on. Let me see what time it is. Um, we're almost done for this part. I don't want to end it. What does it say? It says what? Taxes are too high. Oh God. Oh no. You need to stop. Okay. There's, I don't want the, the tress cheekies or whatever to get taken out. What's it say? Do you think maybe, oh my God, no, does it look like I have money to be keep lowering these damn taxes? Fine, I'll lower them to 9%. That is it. That is it. Okay? If you don't like it, go somewhere else. I'm not even freaking kidding. I'm so serious. Oh my gosh, look at there's two pizza, pizza places. Oh, wow, you guys. Look at this city. It is bustling. And look at how many people are walking to their work. Feeling, uh, what does it say? Feeling happy going home. Uh, feeling great going home. Why are they all walking? This is crazy. There's so many people coming from here. Okay, it says, um, injured Sims. Oh my god, we're gonna have to take out a freaking loan. I think I can take out a bigger bond, actually. No, it says, I need to have a city hall. I thought I did. I have a town hall, huh? Is that a town hall? Yeah, it's not a city hall. Okay, well, I'm gonna zoom through a little bit and just kind of get some money under our belt because we're spending. A little too fast so I definitely feel like obviously getting in um, a a what you want to call it like a clinic or something would be really really helpful 
Uh, let's go look at our population and stuff. It says one deaths per a day. One. That is really high. I don't like seeing people suffer. Oh my God. I kind of want to build up my goal though in this series is to build up all the regions. Do you know what I mean? Like I think we have like six. So I think that'd be a lot of fun. And then if you guys like it, we can maybe do like, we can install the city, cities of tomorrow pack or something, or we could just do like a separate region on it. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided, but I do want to like see how it goes. So far, I like it a lot. I like that we can add on to our region and do more, and um, we won't burn out of the LP so fast. So what's it say? Not enough. Oh, my goodness. Medium. Okay, well, obviously, I'm going to raise this area to medium wealth then because there's a lot of houses here. And medium wealth would be, like, this kind of stuff. Um, what, oh, Waverly Park. That's really, really, really beautiful. Okay, I want to see if I can maybe put it. I don't want to, like, take anybody's house away, though. All right, I kind of want to put it in the middle or somewhere where it will benefit them. I don't like the way that that's sitting. It's like crooked. Okay, well, I'll do it right here. I'll do Waverly Park there. And then I'm going to do a little park on the edge there, I guess. And we'll see kind of how that helps encouraging people to do medium, some medium wealth. Okay, there we go. Perfect. That was all that we needed to do. And we're just making 1500 an hour, which is amazing because, well, I mean, we lower taxes to an all-time low. Taxes are extremely low. They're at 9%, which I think the game originally started at. So taxes are low. The city is kind of becoming stabilized. Like I said, the main thing that we need to work on the absolute most now with Silver de Piers is working on some education systems and then also working on getting more people, help our workers are dying off. Okay, okay, that's not good. Okay, well, we have $20,000. All right, we have twenty grand. Um, I think the bond is what a hundred and some odd. Oh, we were making oh, fudge sickles. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add in the clinic, uh, for four hundred dollars an hour. Oh my god, there's somebody actually sick in town hall. That's not good. Okay, so where it seems like everyone's getting sick here. So if I put it right. I need, I need it to kind of, kind of touch everything. Like, I need it to touch everything. Um, okay, so I kind of feel like maybe it's going to take out these houses, but I feel like maybe if I put it here, it would be a really good spot. Okay, so I'm going to put it there. The clinic is literally right next to the town hall. Health coverage for Neighbors available. That's awesome. Okay, so now people should be able to, like, go and get checked and stuff. Closed, now hiring. There's ambulances. Oh, shoot. We should have added a bigger lot because I didn't even think about it. Um, we don't have enough sim simoleons, but we would be able to add quite a bit. I could add a sign. How, how, what's it say? It says if you – oh, it's like people don't have time to read addresses. They need a sign. This so the sign's no cost? Oh, no cost an hour. Okay, so I could actually put the sign right on top of the roof i'm going to do and it looks great and that is our little clinic and hopefully this will be good enough for the people to get treated what's it say go to region i'll cover it by okay so there we got a little clinic now things are starting to be a little more stabilized i think we had a whole bunch of people die i'm not exactly sure uh, unfortunately we're down to like peanuts an hour cacao this but hopefully like i said we'll just start building up a little bit more if you guys have any ideas of future things that we can do in the next part let me know but as for this part we're going to go ahead and wrap it up i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you next time okay. thing going so we should be good okay bud budget loom oh my god we got budget loom going on so sorry sans has literally 17 hours before we go bankrupt and we haven't even started yet what the fudge?